going on guys I am back so I got another knot for you and I know knots are absolutely endless when it comes to fishing but there's definitely a few knots you should always know so what we're gonna do today is I'm gonna show you guys what I use for a knot on my drop shot so guys if you guys like this kind of stuff please hit that like and subscribe button down below that'll keep you up to date on all the latest videos and feel free to share this stuff and that'll do nothing but help this channel grow so there's a couple different knots you can do. Uh, a lot of people stick to the standard polymer knot for their drop shot rig, which works fine. I used that the first couple of years when I first started. Uh, it works good, but I had a couple little problems with it. it. wasn't the end of the world, still caught a lot of fish on it. But what I noticed was the hook would actually roll a little bit and I would have to constantly kind of straighten it out, make sure it was just right when I was dropping it down or if I caught a fish, I'd have to kind of reset it a little bit. So what I found is another it's a drop shot knot is what it's called so I'm gonna show it to you here so what we're gonna do is we're gonna run your tag in down through the hook it's like that pull out plenty of line because you're gonna need a tag end so you can attach a weight and have this hook suspended off the bottom then all you're gonna do is loop it back and grab on both sides just like that so now your hook's just sitting in the middle, just over. Then we're gonna run this through your loop three times. We'll just do it twice for this because it's just a quick demo video. And then pull it tight. And this is gonna jam the eye of that hook. Like every other knot, you're gonna wanna lubricate this. Just lick it, get it nice and wet, and then pull it tight. And that's going to stand that hook up on your line. It's going to lock it in, so it's not going to want to twist. And that's because of this extra curl on the side. So that hook's not going to move, and it just seems to be a, a better knot for me. So there you have it, guys. That is how I tie on my drop shot. So this isn't typically what it looks like. Let's try and fix this. That's better. So run this on 6 to 8 pound fluorocarbon is typically what I'm putting it on. It's tied off the braid uh, just for the added sensitivity. So go out there, give it a try, see if you like it, catch a couple extra fish, and uh, give this knot a try. You'll be pretty surprised on how well it works. Again, if you guys like this kind of stuff, please hit that like and subscribe button. That'll keep you up to date on all the latest videos. Thanks you guys, get out there, have some fun, do some fishing. See you next time.